Hello Walking Dead fans, this is Solid Dave Snake bringing you my last review on the Walking Dead TV series 4 action figures by McFarlane Toys and this last review is going to be a combo review on the Riot Gear Zombie and Gas Mask Riot Gear Zombie and with this video I feel like I'm saving the best for last uh, I think that these two figures are the best figures out of this wave um, with overall detail and just just coolness um, I'm doing a combo review on these two because they're both pretty much the same figure in a lot of aspects but they're different enough to warrant buying both of them but if you're a fan of the show you'll know uh, what episode these zombies were off of of course um, it was off of the season 3 opener seed whenever Rick's group assaulted the prison and take it over whenever they made it into the inner courtyard they ran into these zombies and uh, had to take care of them and I just thought that this was a great choice to make zombie action figures out of and these two I'll just tell you right off the bat are my most favorite zombies that McFarlane Toys has done so far um, not only are, do I think that they're the best figures in this wave but they are definitely the best zombies with uh, detail and articulation and with all that being said we'll go right into these zombies and I'll go over articulation all at once but first let me go into the detail of uh, each of these zombies and they are actually both um, they both have a lot of little differences that a lot of people have not noticed yet but uh, I'll go over them as I go over these figures and the main action function on this Riot Gear zombie is the flip up visor on his helmet and he has uh, a machete stuck in his knife and if you remember off the episode uh, Maggie figured out how to kill these things and shoved up the visors and stuck these this machete in its neck and everybody else started following suit and the machete's all bloody and looks just like the machete that uh, Maggie and Rick were using so that's neat and it just slides right up in that uh, hole under there and fits in real nice and snug I'll give you a little look at that hole you can see where it fits in right there let me get a focus in there we go you can see where that uh, machete slides into and this helmet is actually removable I'm not gonna do it on camera because it's a little tough but the chin strap right here there's a little knob um, on the other end of it that actually fits in its chin there's a little slot that, that fits into and if you pry that out you can lift this helmet off and he actually has detail uh, underneath on the back of his head and top of his head so I thought that was kinda cool so that's the action feature for the riot gear zombie and the action feature for the gas mask zombie if you remember from the show the lone uh, gas mask zombie that Rick came across he kicked it down and then ripped off its gas mask and when he ripped it off it did exactly what this figure does it pulls the skin off and shows the uh, uh, kind of skull face underneath and they put a lot of detail into this face it's actually missing the left eye and the teeth are all exposed and nasal cavity so I thought that was pretty cool great action feature and the gas mask itself actually has on the visor it's got the green bile making it look like uh, like it's been filled up with that inside and you can actually take off this clear plastic piece and see his face underneath and on the back side they actually went as far to make it uh, blood colored inside so that's pretty cool so two neat gimmicks with these zombies 
I really thought that was something else. And before I go over articulation, let me show you the slight differences in these two figures. Uh, there's a lot of little little ones that people probably haven't noticed. Uh, first and foremost is the biggest one. Um, on the back side, he, uh, the gas mask, Riot Gear Zombie, has an extra plate of armor um, that is not on this one. So that's the first thing. Second thing are these little uh, straps coming off the shoulder pads. The Riot Gear Zombie does not have that. Where the gas mask zombie, they're noticeably coming down. And right here on the uh, armor on the upper arm, he's got extra, the gas mask zombie has extra uh, layer of armor there as well, where this one does not. So they kind of just added a little extra armor everywhere on this thing. Same thing with the elbow. He's got a bigger pad on the gas mask zombie rather than the riot gear zombie. And everything else is pretty much identical. From the waist down, they're the same. And of course, the heads are completely different. But uh, from the waist down, they're the same. And the gloves are the same. But uh, there are those slight differences um, elsewhere. And you can tell on the uh, forearm, too. He, uh, the gas mask zombie has a little extra armor there as well. But they both have the same articulation, and I will go over that now. He has, they, these zombies have two less points of articulation than all the other characters in this series. All the other characters have had 22 points, and these zombies have 20 points apiece, which is a lot for a zombie figure, the most out of any of these McFarlane zombies. And first thing is both their heads will rotate. Heads are on a ball joint. Can't really look up and down, but they can swivel all the way around. On the shoulders, they have a ball joint and hinge, which is slightly restricted from that upper shoulder pad. And they have a ball joint and hinge here at the uh, elbows as well, which is hindered with the pad at the elbow. And for the hand, they actually have a cut at the wrist right here, which is hidden real well. It's uh, right where the glove starts and it will twist all the way around so that's kind of the difference in articulation between these zombies and the humans the humans have a ball joint and hinge on the wrist where these just have the single cut which gives you those two less uh, two fewer points of articulation and at the uh, waist they have a ball joint which will give them about that much movement you can actually get it to go a little bit up and down but more meant for the swivel and they have a ball joint at the uh, thighs, which is limited, just like with all the other figures. And at the knees, we have a ball joint and hinge, which will actually go back a pretty good bit. And, of course, you can swivel, it, swivel them out if you want. And they have the ball joint down at the ankles, which will turn all the way around and give a little bit of an ankle pivot. So, I'm very happy with these uh, Riot Gear Zombies, the Riot Gear Zombie and the Gas Mask Riot Gear Zombie. And I highly recommend these zombies. In my personal opinion, they are the best figures of this wave. And uh, I just want to say uh, thank you everybody for watching and have a happy Halloween next week. Alright, bye.